Hello, hello, should I say good tag, you beautiful people, and welcome to the brand new series, it's with St. Pauli, yep, one of the most famous German clubs, and we will be doing a career mode with this team on FC24, I'm looking for it due to multiple reasons, they won my global seasons last year, but more importantly than that, their stadium is actually in the game, yes, the Millentor Stadium, is we're going to be playing that at home it's so good i can't believe it's in the game it's literally stars have aligned as well as that what makes them so good is their fan base it's passionate they care about this club more than anything else while i was doing my homework about it it was just their fans literally love and bleed saint Pauli. also they're famous for another reason which we'll get on to that later on but first i've got a confession to make i'm an idiot i will admit that here to you lot I mispronounce names a lot of the time and some people have been getting angry at the comments which again I'm sorry dyslexic man could ever say what I do have to apologize for is for the West Brom career man now why am I apologizing for that so let me set the story out 11:59, when it hits 12 o'clock midnight you can get early access you know you get about 10 hours worth of FC 24 once that hit 12 o'clock I panicked and I got it I got on the Xbox what I didn't realise, I got the Xbox One version, the old gen, instead of, you know, Series S. So, yeah, like I said, I'm an idiot. So, apology for the West Brom Karima being all old gen. And as soon as I found out now with St. Pauli, I thought I better make it right. So, here onwards, we've got new gen with St. Pauli and all the other career modes. If you're going to look forward to this one, make sure you subscribe. The channel we've got plenty more St. Pauli career modes coming up throughout the week. And as we look at the squad right here, do I know anybody? No, not really. Well, actually, maybe what? Jackson, you know, I think he used to play for Hull or Burton Albion. I think it was one of the two, the Aussie, our captain. But apart from that, no one really stands out. And I play counter-attack and football, so I might have to tweak the formation just so it could suit it. We do have £7 million in the bank right here and I think that's good because um, there's some problems I can see right away. St. Pauli have about six strikers so if I remove some off the chopping list hopefully I can get some more and well get some more decent players. So let's see how I do out my first transfer window with the Kreuz kickers. So our first sign I'm going for a young centre back you know just to be the backbone of St. Pauli. So, from Strasbourg, I offered £2.2 .2 million. They said, yeah, sure thing. So, Sulla is our first signing for St. Pauli. Then afterwards, I've gone for, like, a youth striker. Because most of the strikers in St. Pauli, they're over the age of 30. So, I've sold some and off would get some young blood in here. For example, this one. Romero Verat joins us from Club Brugge. And once I saw this goalkeeper, I thought I'll make a cheeky offer. I won't go anything more than two million. So I said two million, probably some sell on clause. And they said yes. And I thought, wow, um, okay, I'll bloody take it. So yeah, we've got a new goalkeeper, young, got load of potential, absolutely tearing it up for Freiburg at the moment. He may build a arc, but let's see how he does in that. Yeah, it's Noah Atubalu. And I looked at the free agents and I thought. Wow, this guy's actually got a lot of pace, so it'll be perfect for counter-attack and football. So we've got a Mexican. Yes, joining us for absolutely nothing. Atunde, welcome to St. Paul. But I didn't regret signing this player right here. He was on his last year of his contract. Had a load of other interests for Premier League clubs, but I want to take him in and make him the best German number nine. They need a new number nine Germany. And now I'm going to buy and raise them up in the St. Pauli atmosphere. So, 
for a final signing for only four million pounds, our record feed so far, Maximilian Bayer. Yeah, no, that's the squad. I made a lot of changes and I thought, I think when I sold some of the strikers, I got a lot of funds and I thought, eh, why not? So a 10 day will probably be my only regret because I think he might be a bit overpowered for the second tier of the Bundesliga. But Maximilian Bayer is a key player because Germany's been failing at getting a new number nine up forward. So I want him to be here till the very end and be the literally Germany's new saving hope. Apart from that, the squad looks absolutely brilliant. So let's get into our first Bundesliga 2 game. The goal, promotion and nothing less. Here we go, Bundesliga 2, Kaiserslautern, a lot of history in that. But no one is bigger than St. Pauli. And this crowd is rocking at the Melentor Stadium as our first game awaits in the Bundesliga 2. And we were getting close early doors. Literally shot came in from Dapper and it only denied to the crossbar. But we had plenty of more. Hartland from the centre midfield had a shot and it oh come on that was so close to going in. We were just barely crossing the line here folks. So a corner came in. Who's going to get their head onto it? Oh it's our first signing. Yes. Sulla from the back gets the first goal for St. Pauli. Which is quite awkward because of West Brom it was Jared Braithway getting the first goal. And now Sulla our first signing gets again from a corner and centre back. Just call it Alum Illuminati confirmed. It's Kaiser Slotin's turn to attack. They relied on their big up American attacker. And yeah, he made it 1-1. Literally, he made my defence look like we're made out of paper mache. As he absolutely slaughtered them through. Being all square again, I decide to go for it. And hello, Maximilian Bayer does a little bit of an anti-spin. Toe boats it. Oh, that's beautiful for your first goal for St. Pauli. Yes, it's a, right, it's a good future so far for the German national team as Maximilian Bayer opens his account with the first goal for him in a St. Pauli shirt. Ladies and gentlemen, he can't just shoot. Literally, he's playing 1-2 as literally Bayer, Tunde, back to Bayer, 1-2. He's 1-1 one -on -one, and then it's 3-1. I think I said about 7 or 8 different numbers right there. But you know what? That's the most important one. Doubling our lead. And then Tunde, well, he wasn't done just assisting Bayer as he assisted Hartland for the fourth. As we absolutely smash poor Kaiser Slauten. So on to a familiar team, yes the first Bundesliga club I did on my channel, that was Adelborn. And I'll tell you something else, the attack was lethal in this game, but the left wing backs and full backs were absolutely phenomenal. As you can see, our left wing back came close, Ritzer came close for getting the first goal. When I came in, anybody want to play volleyball? Nah, it's into Dapo, in the box. Absolutely deadly, but lays it across to good old Captain Jackson. Yeah, he can do it at Burton Albion. Yeah, he can do it for Pat St. Pauli. Gives us the lead as the Aussie. That's a good aim for you, all right? As you can see, my left wing backs were doing well attacking. How did they do defensively? Awful. Absolute awful. Because literally five in the back, it made them look like they were having a diet of only five guys. That was so easy for them to get the equaliser. Honestly, it doesn't matter what language I'll speak. English, German, French, Bulgarian. Did anything come across those players when I went over my defensive drills and practice? Scooby-Doo, what's your conclusion? Funny. Someone who did understand me was my captain, as he literally dragged the team by the neck, and he was full of a bit of a bromance with Hartland, as he, yes, he laid it off for his assist, and yeah, oh, thank goodness we've gotten ourselves back. And afterwards, we see a Tunde from the left produced a fantastic cross. Tapo controlled it well as the Englishman gets a third pass paddleboard. I love your paddleboard, but that was pure, pure destruction. In our following game against Hansik Rostick, literally two goalkeepers were producing great save after great save. I thought no one, I thought it was going to be nil nil written all over it. It was going to be one of those games until we had a counter attack. And Hartland, well, he decided to go for a shot. And that was more than enough to give us the lead so far. And Jackson outside the box. Oh, jeez, man, what a goal. There's only one word that could describe that beauty. Crikey. 
Hansek did have a corner and... Uh, oh, damn it, yeah. We, we can't keep a clean sheet. It's West Brom all up. Um, does that guy need any help? Am I gonna die? But that was only a consolation goal, just to send the Hansek ferns happy because we had chance after chance and those chances ended goal after goal. Absolutely shinking Hansek Rostick ship. And all of the mighty have fallen. Yes, Schalke will come to the Militor Stadium in our next game. Bit of a yo-yo club, but the thing is, they're down the second division. They're pretty much like Barcelona. And it came close, literally. Had a chance, and Noah produced a absolute wonderbug save. The young German was being what absolute stunner in there. He could build an arc and collect two of each animals, as well as that save our bacon. And oh, wait a minute, it's sizzling. And Jackson knows everything about sizzling as the barbecue master spots his bestie off the post and in. And he easily set that one up. Just like setting a barbecue up at the Millentor Stadium. Following up from that, Maximilian Boyer. Lovely stroll past the defenders. Easy as you like. And that's a second goal for the young striker up top. And uh, yeah, he did get a goal back because I can't keep a clean sheet to save my life. But... That was a bit of a offside looking moment. So I had to play to my advantage. I know just the thing. A through ball into our pacey Mexican Atene. He's one on one, making the Shulk defenders eat his dust, and he also buries that past the goalkeeper. Literally, we're 3 1 up. I am absolutely enjoying life, especially against Schalke. And, um. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about that at all. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. And it got tense. Real tense. 90th minute came in. They had a chance. The header and... Well, I would say I'm surprised about that. But I'm truly not. So in our final game, it's a trip to the capital. Yes, hurt for Berlin. Now this is a falling from grace story, I'll tell you that. But Berlin, they had an extra plan. Since they only like to cheat a lot, I feel like they added an extra man as their defence was bloody tight. And I mean tighter than a duck's ass because nothing was getting past that. Then we had Hartland on the ball. He tried to find someone and his bestie was there right open. And Jackson, trying to find the man, found a Tunye who escaped past the defence and absolutely gave us that lead. Yes, a Tunye makes it 1-0. Now, I was going to make a joke about Mexicans escaping onto the border, but that would probably be a bit bad taste and I don't want to get myself cancelled right here. But this wasn't that bad at all. A lovely pass into Dapo. And Dapo, well, he made the goalkeeper feel like he left the stove on. Make him dive the other way. And I'm 2 0 up at the capital. I should be absolutely enjoying it, right? Well, straight from kickoff, they easily made it 2 1. Yikes, right there. They had free kick, which was headed over. And the defense kind of felt lazy. You know, especially how Noah's great form is. Made him do all the work. And yeah, it was going to happen 2-2. Oh, no, no, no. Not good at all. In the 80th minute, I went for it. Atunye, well, he does what he does. He ran past all the defence. Tried to spot the striker. Nowhere by was seen. But he passed it to Sab. And Sab tees. He tapping, ladies and gentlemen. Who's someone who hasn't played FIFA in a long while. Well, you could easily score one of those goals. Easily taps at home and we ran away 3-2 win against the capital. I don't think this will be my only time visit here because I fancy a cut run now and again. But you know what? That's a good way to end the match highlight. Let's go to the live game. So you know when I said at the start of the episode St. Pauli were only famous for two things? And that was their passionate fans and something else? Well, this is the second reason. The Hamburg Derby. Us versus Hamburger. And yes, I'm pronouncing them Hamburger. There are arch rivals. And the amount of times I've done my research on St. Pauli, one thing is made clear. They don't care about promotion. They don't care about being the champions. They want one thing. They want to beat their arch rivals, Hamburg. And to be fair, this is an absolute opportune moment. This derby right here, I would say, one of the best free derbies in Germany. Call me out, I'm just saying. 
but hopefully we can get the win here against our arch rivals just to end the first episode well. Matunye wins the bell brilliantly. Plays it across to the right wing back, Shakaras, who's been really good support. For oh, lovely work from Matunye. Oh, lovely. He's got two more. It's deflected. It's going to go in. It's gone in. Oh, thank you ever so much for that little bit of a deflection. Tapo gets his head onto it. Goalkeeper didn't know what to do. And then only five minutes of the clock, St. Paul to take the lead against Hamburger. Lovely dribble. Plays it across. Now, come on. You've just got to win this ball off and get him again on counter-attack. Because they seem a little bit... Oh, my God, they're through. Lovely cross. Defended. Why did you take it? Oh, my God, no. And that's a brilliant save. I don't know why he decided to take a touch. The utter moron. Corner come in. You can just hear the drums beating around the stadium. Deflected in. Atunye on the edge of the box. Goes for a shot. And the hamburger goalkeeper made a decent save of that. Oh, God. He, like I said, you can hear the drums at the Melantor Stadium. We are rocking here at home. Header gone in. Nose deflected. Scramble. Hello. Yes, it's an utter dump pile. But we got it in as our first signing, Sulla, puts the ball in the back of the net. Who wants to play scramble at the Militor Stadium? Well, Hamburg do it. They're losing pretty bad because of it. Now, here they go. Is it back? Reese, I believe, is probably their best player. Um, I don't know much about Hamburg. It's a shot outside the box, and that's why he's such a threat. But Noah made a fantastic save out of that. Come on, tackle. Yes. Good work from the centre mid. Jackson plays it across to Maximilian. Maximilian Bayer, he made absolutely eight my dust, why don't you? Yeah. Maximilian, that's the third. That's a, such a good run from the young German striker up top. As it's three goals to nil. And the Hamburg derby, we are absolutely running away with it. There they go again. Now, second half, we hopefully we should get a lot better right now. You know, just get more counter-attacks. Plays it across. Like I said, we're only 3 0 up right here. Plays it backwards now. Backwards, forwards. Shot and Noah. Woo! You know what? Made a good save. Can't lie about that, but I'm just on the edge here. It's signed a little Gagan press on me. Trying to throw. Who do you think you are? Klopp's Liverpool. Get out of here. Here we go. Good run. Through balls it. Jackson beats his man. Through balls it again. Oh, Kunye plays it back. Hartland, lovely ball, Dapo, come on, oh, I should have squared it, I should have squared it to Maximilian, but Dapo went for glory, but, oh, goalkeeper made a good save out of that, all right, corner for your boy, St. Paul, the, the Christ kicker, the neighbourhood kickers, knocking at your door, oh, come on, scramble, diving in, oh, it's off the line, we're getting close, we're getting very close for a fourth, corner for Hamburger, plays it short now, and plays a lovely ball, draw pass, they're through and Zachary Yatta only denied for the crossbar or some hope for Hamburg, holy moly that was close. There they go, down the wing again, they've definitely been the second, the best team in the second half, through again, dribbled lovely, fantastic and that's, there we go, there we go, it just had to be, they deserve it, don't get me wrong, I hate Hamburg, especially in this derby, but they deserve that. There we go, it didn't matter. Only the consolation. Full time, 3 1 at the moment, or stadium. We absolutely kicked the living, believing hope out of Hamburger. Great way to end episode one as we got a win in the derby. But let's see how we're doing after the winter break. And boy, oh boy, I love that table. That shows absolute class. And tell you what, we have been bloody class. Only 9 points clear of 2nd place Schalke and as well as that 12 points clear of 3rd place. So I'm pretty confident we can get promoted in the next episode. For the title though, I think we can, I think we can do it. And can you blame me though? It's just an absolute brilliant. And I just got to want to say this as well. Mind the gap hamburger. It's literally bigger than a Big Mac for crying out loud. Yeah, I had to fill that joke in. But literally the squad has been absolutely brilliant. Maybe some slip in the defence, but the goalkeeper Noah has been phenomenal. As well as that, some other players. We've got literally the fullbacks great, midfielder, the besties, the bromance doing well. And literally up top with Maximilian, he's not really hit the shooting belt as well, but 
he, just give him some time, he'll get there. Acuna and Dapo, though, they've been absolutely dominating that wing. So, that's ending the first episode of St. Pauli. Again, leave a subscribe, like as well. We've got plenty more career modes coming up in this week. And like I said, thank you so much for joining this video. And I'll see you beautiful people later. Yeah, that, that.